Okay, this is a little intro to using Keyman. And rather than using it from the website, I'm going to give a little presentation using a PowerPoint to describe how to do things. And then I'll come back to this page to show you how it actually is used. So going to the PowerPoint, uh, Keyman is used to type special characters. Uh, depending on the font set, you'll get these kinds of special characters like this. And it's um, compatible with other software like Saymore, Flex, and Word, and others. It um, also works with Windows, Mac, Linux, iPhone, and Android. There are two steps to installing Keyman. The first step is to install the software itself, and then you'll need to add a keyboard. So in order to install the software, go to keyman.com. And this will be the page that you see, and then we're going to go into products. So products is right here. In my case, I'm using Windows, so I can use Keyman 14 for Windows right here. And just download that and follow the instructions to install that. And then after you're done with products, you go over to keyboard. And here I'm going to add an IPA keyboard. So I click on this IPA keyboard right here, or depending on what other category, um, some Burmese keyboards or Tamil keyboards, they each have their categories. Um, IPA keyboard, download it, follow the instructions to install. Just remember you need both the software and a keyboard. And sometimes the IPA is categorized, categorized under undetermined because it's not a Burmese or something like that, a specific location. So you might just be aware of that. So now that we've got our software installed, you might need to reset the device, which is why I can't show you, I can't record and then reset the device. So that's why we did it in the presentation mode. Mm -hmm. So it's installed. You'll see a little icon down in the bottom right. If you click on the carrot and then you'll see the Keyman icon or logo right here. If you switch it, it becomes the Enigma, which is the IPA symbol that SIL uses for this specific keyboard. So you can see that it's right here as well. When my default for Windows keyboard is English, but it switches back and forth. And so you can see it from the carrot and the Keyman or the Enigma, and you can also see it on the actual keyboard, not keyboard, on the actual screen border around the windows. So to use Keyman, you're just going to type keyboard like you normally would. So in this case, you type the E symbol, and then you type the equals symbol. So I'm going to use two different symbols, two different keystrokes, and it turns into a schwa. So the sequence of keystrokes is the important part. And to, to once you get used to it, it makes total sense. If I want to make uh, a schwa, I just hit the lowercase e and then the equal sign. Um, an uppercase e will give me a different symbol. Um, if equals, greater than, less than, each of them make different symbols. So the, the sequence is on the right and the symbol that it creates is on the left. You can also see that these are also available from the IPA keyboard. Lots of different ones right there. I'll show you how to access this from um, an icon on the on the active or live device in just a minute. So just be aware that you can install more keyboards. It's not just limited to one. So in this case, I've added a Portuguese one. You can just install keyboards at the bottom left here. I'll show you how to access this in just a sig in just a minute. As again, it's the from the configuration. So. So that's the Windows install. Now, if we're talking about like Android or other things, it's a little bit different on Android. Just remember that you need to long press in order to see the symbols. That was a little bit of a trick, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you don't want to install all the software because it's only one icon, one symbol or one token that you want to use, they can use the keymanweb.com and then just cut and paste that symbol wherever you need it so you don't need to install all of this. And again, help.keyman.com if you have any questions. So the example literally is the E and then the equal sign gives you a schwa. 
E and then the asterisk gives you this symbol, a capital E and then the equal sign gives you a different symbol. So that's the end of the presentation part of it. I'm going to take you and show you some of the website and how we would use it. So just if I'm, I'm actually in presentation right here um, for my keyboard, I'm going to hit an e, e and then an equal sign. So I just hit two different keys and that's what happens. But that's because I'm in English mode right here. So if I go to the carrot and key man and then select IPA because I've already installed the keyboard. Now I've switched to the Engma icon, which tells me that I'm in the, the IPA mode. So now I'm going to hit the same characters that I hit here, E and then equals. But you can see that those two strokes became one. So E equals and it just switches. It's pretty cool. Uh, a couple of other things. So now my icon is no longer a key man, but it is the Ingma logo, but that's still a shortcut to the key man software. So don't let that throw you. Um, configuration will allow you to add more keyboards. There's also another way to get to that. Um, if we go to character map, this shows you the characters that are available. You can double click on those to, to put them into your system. Or in this case, that's the configuration that I told you about a few minutes ago. If you want to add a language, then you would, or add a keyboard, you would go there. But I'm going to go to this open help. So you can see I'm in the, the IPA and I'm going to open help. And that brings me to the chart that I showed you earlier in the presentation. So here's my blue on the left and the sequence required to get that character on the right. So there's several of them affiliated with the IPA. So that's this one right here. So if I was on a different one and hit the help, it would bring me the keyboard layout and sequences for that other language or that other keyboard that I was using. And I believe that's the idea. Um, that's the intro to Keyman and good luck. Have fun with it. And it saves a lot of time if you're using just keyboard and adding characters that are a little bit unusual. Um, it works great if you're actually doing a, a whole different language or a whole different orthography to be able to type those. Once you get the sequences down, then it's become sec second nature. So have fun with it.